Hello, my name is Kark82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. I am just uh, debating how I want to go about doing this. I think I'm actually going to switch it over uh, right now, I think. Um, probably do... Let's see. Oh, actually, I think I have a quantum tank. It's not the ones I want over here. Okay, so actually this is a bigger one. Yeah, we'll use this, I think, uh, for the Mercium. Now, I think what I'm going to do is just, we'll turn this off. And then I'll let that kind of empty out. It should be pretty quick as we're going through. Yeah, you can see how fast we're going. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually just, I think I'm going to... may just leave it right here for the time being until I figure out what I'm doing. Like, Because all this is probably going to get broken down. Um, let's do tin plasma. Oh, also, I have a list of everything that's kind of broken or may have broken. Um, so we'll go over that and when I do this, after I finish this. So let's just break this. Put that on there. And that should still be on. Yay, network. All right, yeah. So I'll just leave that there until I figure out what I am doing. So next thing. I don't think... Oh, shoot. Oh, well, I'll... I'll change that. All right. I'll just do... I just need to get this up and running, and then... I'll worry about that. I forgot I was going to do... I was going to put this on the side, actually. Oh, well. Let's just do... this. Because um, I need to figure out how I am... Actually, I have more. I have more cables. All right. Uh, yeah. So there are quite a few little things here and there. Oh, I didn't realize there was that was right. I thought that was one down. All right. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter. I was just trying to. I was going to put this on the bottom of it. So we'll just do that. And I think, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do. I'm, I'm just trying to like decide how I want to go about like crafting this stuff up. Um, because I'm going to use the Immersium, but we're probably going to produce it in the Compact Fusion. Which is not very compact if you think about it. <laughs> it's even bigger. You would think compact would be like a single block fusion reactor, but it's bigger. So, yeah, um, we'll do a plasma. I think we'll do that. All right, I'm not going to throw the crafting card in there yet. Do I have, do I have that in the, oh, I guess I had some, I didn't realize I had some in the, uh, A system. Okay, that's fine. That will, uh, actually, is this, this is 1500. All right. Well, there we go. We can see we're we're actually going up in steam now. I mean, I could even put this up to fifteen hundred. I think I do kind of need to make sure we're supplying it. Um, I think we need to 
increase that. Uh, what's that giant input hatch now? That's something I'm going to want to make recipes for. Oh, it's just 64. Is that what the other one was? The output, giant output hatch? Yeah, so I think I'm going to want to do that, but it is... Is working. I should probably... No, actually, I have distilled water in... I can't remember where. I was thinking, should we just do P2P directly into this? But no, we use distilled water elsewhere. Yeah, all right. So well, we got our steam up and running. Oh. Yeah, I need to change this, don't we? Did I change it to uh, americium out? I should just do fluid solidifier or something like that. I should call it. And turned around. Yeah, so this is uh, <laughs> one of the minor issues with updating the pack. Every little things here and there get broken. All right, that's what I figured. Right, and then that just emptied that out, and then I'm racing out. All right, and that just is turning all the Mercium into ingots. Cool. Uh, I'm just going to avoid this. Um, I guess I could also. Oh, hello. There's a locked super tank now has a filter thing built in that, that wasn't there before. These buttons were up here. All right, so that's something that's changed. Um, I guess. All right, well, I guess that. Let's try. Okay, I'm gonna try this, and I may do keep in stock. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna put three in there with a the crafting card. I am kind of curious how that affects the crafting. Oh, look at that. Six million it's doing at once. Um, if you only have the crafting card in there, then it will just do the one whatever this... I think I it's 36,000. But adding extra acceleration cards make it craft up more at once. All right. You know what? I actually... Add, yeah, that's... Uh, that's crafted up 32,000 blue tit. That's kind of funny. All right. Which is it the end of the world? Because we have millions. I have millions of plutonium. Yeah, 1.5. All right. Uh, the one thing I wanted to make sure was, is this, I don't want this like flickering on and off, which it seems like. Yeah, it seems like, is this? Is this fusion reactor making that sound? Is that this one? You got all the sound effects nowadays. All right, I think that's just a smelting recipe, if I remember. All right? Yeah, that's just a normal smelting recipe. Okay, yeah, so that actually... We're good. Okay, so I didn't want it to run out, turn off, and then when it tried to turn back on, it didn't have enough power, but it seems to be... Seems to be fine. All right, cool. I don't know, so I kind of, I think we're good with that. Um, question, though, do we want to, let's, let's do, hmm. yeah, maybe I do want to switch over the turbines. We have... Apparently, I don't remember crafting these up, but apparently I crafted up 12 huge turbines uh, in the past sometime. I think maybe we'll switch those out. I do need to... Got myself turned around here. Um, here. Uh... 
Fluid regulator UV. All right. I was trying to, I couldn't remember how much. I don't know. Can we? Ooh, those look nice. I like those little buttons. Wasn't that just, uh, that used to be like a redstone torch. Okay, hi. Hmm, I don't know if it's so... Look at these. Steam regulators look different too. Man, they have done. There's a lot of like. Things that have just been upgraded, like the way they look. These look different too. All these things look. <laughs> Actually, extremely ultimate buck of. I have no idea what that is. Um, Alright, so the problem is if I upgrade all the. Things, I don't know if we're going to be able to output enough. Um, so, I'll put if I maybe add a second one. Also, I don't know if I've if I ever made a recipe for. Oh, I did apparently. Um, let me make a recipe for. Okay, that I don't. I don't know what that was. I thought I fixed that that dust issue I was having, but apparently not. Yeah, it wasn't okay. So it wasn't the iron dust that was causing that. Um, oh, also, I went to I went to each of these things to load them up for the first time because it's a new instance, basically. Uh, since I updated, so all these are running. I did have, there was some funniness with the, a couple of the, the pumps or whatever. I had to break the controller and replace it to get it to start working. So I'm not entirely sure what that was about, but, uh, yeah, they do seem to be working now. Um, what I'm thinking is we'll do two, wait. Let me do yeah two inputs i guess it would be two outputs to one input wouldn't it yeah i'm gonna have to switch this around a bit and then because i don't think if this hook can only do 10 something million and we're already up there Oh, while we're here, let's do giant input hatch. Fluid giant. No, what is it? Input. Over here. Giant. Oh, wait, I already have giant output hatch. What am I thinking? That's what I was thinking. All right, just kidding. We don't have that yet. Yeah, I don't have that yet. I was getting the things confused. Yeah, I don't have recipes for this because I don't have molten politics, whatever, polymer. I don't have that in the A system yet. All right, so we'll, uh, the distilled water is fine, I think. Um, okay, um, let's do the regulator. Yeah, because I think we might need to have multiple... I don't know for sure. I'm just kind of guessing, to be honest. Uh, we'll let's break that really quick. Output hatch. Although, am I doing this the complicated way? I am doing this complicated way. I don't need to do it this way. You know what? Why don't I just do this, and then we'll just output it into the thing with those crazy mm. eh, it does make me a little nervous actually with uh, an export bus I don't know we can check it out all right while that is crafting up like I said there are a few things that may have broken I'll just kind of read them off uh, as we go along uh, benzene is no longer a usable 
fluid in the or gas in the extra large turbine it kind of goes along with the uh oh what's that what broke <laughs> what broke is it working Oh, it's working. All right. Yeah, so benzene kind of got nerfed, basically. Uh, Low-grade plasma is nerfed. We do know that. That is the the tin plasma got a nerf, which we're doing right now. Uh, removed the extra cells mod. You about that. Removed the disassembler. Uh, we did used to use that, but it has been removed. I know it was like a bit of a nightmare with, uh, with the, the code. So that is why it got uh, removed. It was basically... I think the problem was the all the like the circuits and stuff there's you know there's so many or dictionary circuits so it would be kind of crazy trying to not break stuff with that all right I, i'll leave that there for now and what we'll do instead we will I don't have a thing over here. I'll break this. Export. And we'll do You know we could do There's other ways to Oh wait. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized this needs to be, I can't just export as fast as I want. It has to be a certain thing or we're going to screw this up. All right. Uh, let me, maybe I could do that fluid input buffer. What was it? The fluid stocking. Hmm. All right. Let me, uh, yeah, let me figure out what I want to do here. Okay. I went back to the two output hatches with the. The regulators on it so what I've actually done is I just want to get this up and running I basically crafted up two and then I'm just splitting the the thing between them uh, so they basically just need to add up to four four zero nine sixty is four nine six hundred is what we were we need with these things um, so I just want to get it up and running and then we'll adjust it for the the huge turbines so what i'm going to do is since those can only do it's one input to two outputs to do this now technically these are the outputs but you can still you can still like insert in them it's a bit confusing to be honest so i think that might yeah all right i probably just need to turn this back on There we go. All right. So I think I think that I think that works okay. We'll see if it uh It's like 100 and it was like 100 and something, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. I think we're good there. They're just spinning up. They're not uh So I think I do think that will actually That'll be fine. The only other, well, I think we'll be good. All right. So what we're gonna do is, oh, well, apparently you can't pull those out anymore unless it's if it's running. You know that. All right. Um, extra large supercritical speed turbine. The power switch doesn't go on. All right. I think that is still technically. Yeah, current speed 44%. That's what I was trying to articulate, and I couldn't. Hmm. Current speed zero. All right. Is that it? Did it do it? Did you not pull them out from there? Am I misremembering that? <laughs> I thought you... You know what? We'll just do this. I 
I could have sworn the, uh... Uh-oh. The... Did we break this? Oh, maybe it's because it doesn't have a, a thing in it. Okay, I could have sworn you could pull those out before. Am I losing my mind? <laughs> I feel like maybe I am. All right, do we just have to destroy all these? Which, that makes me a little sad. But yeah, I can't, I can't pull that out. It won't let me. All right, be right back. All right, uh, yeah, you can't remove those at all. wonder if there is something I am forgetting, but... All right, so we'll let that go. Uh, the world just did a backup, which is probably good. Uh, the We need to get... All right, so 819,000. So... We'll do, we'll switch these over. What did I say? 819,000. So we'll do 400,000. See, we wouldn't have been able to get 819,000 on this. 419,000. Is that what I said? 419,020. 419,200. 400,000, 100, no. 400, 4,100, I don't even know. Just gonna stop talking because I'm making myself sound like an idiot. Okay. Good. Now, the lasers that we have on this thing can output 500 million EU per tick. So. I think we're good. All right, so there we go. We got our thing running. We are pro consuming 819,000 per uh, tick or whatever per second. And we are producing 241 million EU per tick uh, just from our super critical steam. So yeah, we are we're producing a bunch. Now, if we really wanted to, we could even up the game on this because you can do fast mode, which increases the speed to 48 times, um, but it isn't as efficient. I would probably, I would maybe build just another, another turbine as opposed to do that. I don't know. That's just... That's just me, because it does damage 12 times as fast, so. I think you produce, like, four times the amount, but you do three times as much damage. I don't know if it's actually, I don't know. I'm not good at doing math like that, so. That's working. Now, let's look at this. Okay, we are still producing. We have a net game of Super Critical Steam here. All right, and uh, I think, yeah, we're, uh, we can produce it faster than uh, we are burning it. Uh, now, the one problem with this, obviously, is that we're kind of keeping our fusion reactor running. Like, we can't be crafting other stuff in it because we are using it for the plasma so maybe maybe i'll do these oh hello uh, apparently fluid extractors have a bigger output buffer now that was only 16 now it's 255 interesting all right so maybe the the things depending on the size but, uh, all right, so that's going to work. So let's just continue. There's not a whole ton of possibly breaking changes. So what did I say? I uh, remove the disassembler. Um, many GT multis now support input separation and void protection. Uh, you might want to check to make sure they're configured right. Uh, yes, UEV parts. This is another thing that broke. Um, so UEV 
Uh, before we were crafting these up, no problem, but now they require this 10 gam stuff. So I'm going to have to figure out where we get that. Um, because right now we can't craft up any UEV components. The actual recipe is broken. Um, multiple changes to the B production formula. I don't know if that is a buff or is that a nerf. I don't actually... I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's producing more combs, less combs. I don't know. Um, but we are chugging along with our dragon combs. Also, since we upgraded the chemical reactor, we are we have a lot of dragon blood now. Since it's doing a whole bunch at once. All right, moving on. Lightning rods can now break. I've never actually crafted up a lightning rod before. But apparently they can break now. It's more like an early gain power source. Changed recipe for a Radiant Reinforced. I think it's one of these plates. Radiant Reinforced Aluminum Plate. This, uh, oh lord, Vibrant Crystal. <laughs> I don't remember that being there. Not really. Alright. Well, we might have to deal with that at some point. Uh, oh! I was thinking I was going to need under I.O., but I forgot there is a thing. Um, all right. Um, changed output rate for super and quantum tanks. Uh, now, it uh, whatever pump you use to craft them up will determine how fast it outputs, which is pretty cool. Uh, not that one. Uh, quantum. Quantum tank, yeah. So this will probably output at this speed now as opposed to a set amount for all of them which is pretty cool um the basic heat vent now requires basic heat vent now needs water for coolant cooling uh i don't really know what that means <laughs> but apparently it needs water yeah i don't i don't know where that Basic heat vent. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, changed the LFPR line. I don't remember which one that is. Oh, I never actually got into that. Yeah. All right, that's changed though. You might need to adjust your thing. Changed electrolysis recipes for various metals that contain aluminum. Uh, Play dust, I know, is one of them. So it probably outputs alumina instead of aluminium, would be my guess. That's what I, I am assuming. Uh, removed GT variants of certain items. It's just to clean up NEI. Removed GT lanthanides, variants of formaldehyde, hydrazine, etc. Uh, just, like I said, cleaning up NEI. Removed the old large chemical reactor rocket fuels. Um, slight changes to nitro benzene. It's a buff, but you will still need to change things. So nitro benzene, I'm assuming the something has changed or you get a bitter output or something like that. Uh, changed AL recipes for Dyson parts. That makes me, I don't know if that's a buff. Or a, a nerf, but recipes have changed. I don't even know what they were before, so. The LEG no longer require... The LEG no longer allows for lasers. I don't know what the LEG is. What does that stand for? <laughs> Large. I don't know what the LEG stands for, but apparently it no longer... Oh, Large Essentia Generator? Large Essentia Generator. That's probably what it is. No longer allows lasers um, a few niche metals can no longer be smelted in the furnace so tartarite it's giving a couple uh, so now i'm gonna have to if i have this set up i don't i don't know some of these things it's just gonna be yeah i don't have a recipe for that sir you Place. I think I voided a whole bunch of that. Vulcanite, I think I vold, voided a bunch of that. Mithril, I do have Mithril. And that is, I think that is probably going to need to change. 
So, yeah, there's no longer a smelting recipe. It's one of those things that doesn't get used a whole lot, though. Yep. Nope, that's platinum. Anyway, I'll have to, like I said, I'll have to sort that out. I don't know how we have it being... Uh, the metadata for Lapatron Crystal was fixed. One likely needs to adjust this new... What did I just get my... <laughs> did I just... Was that experience? I didn't see what that was I was looking at. Uh, Lapatron Crystal. So I may need to fix a recipe that uses like Lapatron Crystals or something like that. Uh, namely, like this one. That might be broken now. Not sure. I'll have to check that out. Um, removed various broken extreme niche machines from GT++. Breaker block. Iron blast furnace generator array. Yeah, stuff I've never even heard of, to be honest. The mixer recipe for Grissium has changed, apparently. Let me, I'm just going to mark that down. Oh, yeah. Hydrogen. And it requires a funny circuit. Why? Why did you do that? <laughs> uh, I don't know where it was in here, but somewhere. Grissium. It may be on a separate. I'll have to uh, sort that out. That is used for the chemical. Oh, wait. I was doing that in a, I wasn't doing that in the mixer. I was doing that directly from a alloy blast smelter. All right. Actually, I don't think we might have to worry about that. I'll double check it though. Uh, the recipe for solid steel machine casing now requires a circuit to avoid conflicts. Uh, that I would probably need to move. That's an easy fix though. Solid. Yeah, so that's in a, a zero. We need to move it to a one. There we go. Fixed. Uh, making ammonia from nitrogen now needs a circuit. We did realize that last episode um, because the microchemical wasn't, it's not crafting up the, the ammonia. But I'm going to switch over to using the space elevator pump it. Uh, I just haven't done that yet. I need to... Uh, Oops. Oops. Space elevator. There we go. I always like get it confused because it's farther back than I think because this will be expanded. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking helium-3 since we are not crafting up tin plasma anymore. Uh, I will kind of repurpose this one. I'll leave... No, we have a whole thing of helium-3, don't we? Actually, so I'm going to just break that. Um, I don't want that turning on, actually. All right, there's just a couple more things we can go over. Did I break? Uh oh I did mean to break that one. No, I just voided a whole bunch of ethylene. Oh, well. Uh oh, why isn't that? Why is that? Oh, it's probably because I need to do this. Yeah. Uh oh, we got issues. Oh, right there. Usually I replace it really quick so it doesn't uh, break the multi block. Okay, there we go. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. I got a little nervous there for a second. Uh, like I said, I'm going to switch this over, though. Uh, but I need to sort out the... I need to put up a new tank, I think, for ammonia. Planet 6, gas 3. Planet 6. Gas... There we go. Ammonia. Cool. 
Let's just be. Let's just see how fast it goes. Oh, sorry, I totally just sneezed, and I think I got a hit mutant time. Yeah. All right. So look how fast we're getting pneumonia now. That is much much better. All right. Cool. Uh, backbone AE cables are now. Um, they're being removed. Coming up here, the the cables that do 128 cables. Uh, the only place I've ever actually used them though is over on our our like all our quantum chests. Um, and most of these are being removed anyway. So this is the only place I actually use the 128 cables. They were a bit funny with making the channels go in the right places, so I didn't really use them. So, uh, yeah, they're still in. They still work, but they are going to be removed in a future update. And mica-based sheet now needs a circuit. So it needs a circuit of one in a forming press. All right, so I think there's not too many total your base is broken things. Yeah, there's the mica. Hey. I never had an issue with this, like, I was like, is that gonna screw that up? I don't know if that would screw up the silicon. Or any of the itemites. I may just throw another thing for a one specifically. I've never I've never actually had an issue with the forming press. Yeah, so as you can see there's hundreds of recipes and it's the only one. I don't know what uh Oh, okay. So there we go. Looks like that is why. I feel like uh, I guess I guess that recipe is a more it's more efficient. You can get it's only one asbestos, but asbestos isn't. I don't know. Maybe I'll I'll do that recipe. I'll think about that. All right. But uh, anyway, so that is the kind of breaking um, recipes. Now there are. I did find the. Oh, shoot. I already forgot what it was called. Crafting input buffer. Yes. All right. So I think these are... These are the thing that processes patterns directly from ME. So uh, I do need to make recipes for these. Unfortunately, the one with the fluid, we can't do yet. As you can see, we don't have molten space time. I mean, we have everything else. We don't have molten space time yet. And I haven't quite figured out how we get that. Is that required? Is this DTPF required for molten space time? Uh, I think, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think that is required for that. The transcendent metal, I think is the next, I think this is the next kind of crazy thing we do. Um, again, though, I'm not quite sure process for that but we'll get to it uh so anyway that's going to be for today so thanks for watching and have a good one